Hey there guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to be talking about OpenCore. First off, OpenCore is a brand new bootloader which is meant to, well, boot Mac OS for Hackintoshers. It was comprised from the people at Hermit Crabs Lab, Download Fritz, Goldfish64, can't pronounce that name, and Vit9696. Now, why do these people matter? Well, because they know what they're doing. Uh, if you used Lilu, if you used Apple ALC, if you used whatever green, it was all because of Vit and a bunch of other contributors. Now, Hermit Crabs are the guys that are behind Osmosis. Osmosis was, well, a bootloader as well that went into your BIOS. This is sort of a rewrite of all of that mixed into one. And it is one of the best ideas that you could ever have for a Hackintosh at this point because of what it does. It is so clean and so light and all around just amazing. So we're going to construct our own Hackintosh um, open core folder. First things first, well, I'm not usually one to suggest you use something that's 23 days old, but just for the purpose of doing so, use something that's 23 days old. Now, I'm going to move this over onto my side and we are going to jump onto my Discord because I have all the newest files on the Discord to construct an open core folder. The configuration is up to you. You need to understand that. It is all surrounding your specs. Do you understand? And you need to understand your hardware to be able to understand how to make the config work. Now, we have two places. We have this one, release builds, and we have this one, which is testing builds. We have no current test builds in here yet, but we will soon. So I'm going to download this first off. So now that I have the newest open core build, we are going to end up going into GitHub here and grabbing the newest builds of Lilu and uh, whatever green and stuff like that. So first things first, I'm going to, where is it? New open core build. I don't use Apple ALC, but I do use whatever green. Yep, on that one. And going to download that. And I don't use this either because I don't have that problem. We are going to grab virtual SMC. I definitely use that over anything else. And we need to grab the newest version of Lilu, which has not been on here for a while. So I'm actually going to go grab that uh, from right here, Lilu. We're going to go to 24 release. We're going to grab this one. And so we have virtual SMC, whatever green, open core, and Lilu. We're good to go. So I'm going to drag that on my desktop, that as well, and the virtual SMC. Good. And we're going to grab Lilu. All right. Now that that's done, we need to get to work. So I'm going to minimize the insanely Mac Discord. We're going to move everything over. So here's the first thing that needs to be done. Boot file, OC, that's all good to go. We're going to move this to trash and these as well. This is the only thing you're really going to need is the boot folder with inside having that file and the open core EFI in here. You're going to make a new folder. You're going to call it text, and we're going to drop in Lilu, and we're going to drop in whatever green, and uh, we're going to drop in virtual SMC, just virtual SMC. Next, we're going to need our drivers, and well, I don't really have updated drivers for this. I need to keep this open. We can close the rest of this. But I will do my best to find some real quick. So inside the open core folder here, we're going to add a new folder. We're going to call it drivers. The name drivers cannot be used. Are you mental? Get info. Drivers, thank you. So this is where you're gonna put your EFI drivers. Okay, this is very important. Do not use your ones from Clover. If you do, you're gonna have more issues than no issues at all. And what is in this? I gotta look, drivers. All right, well, there's two of our drivers right there. So I'm gonna grab those, put those in there. So we're halfway done. That's pretty good, right? Now we just need APFS loader and um, HFS plus 
is we're definitely going to want to have that one. So I am going to open up Clover Configurator and I'm going to grab them from my drive right now. Um, yep, this is the one. Mount partition. EFI, OC, drivers. So I already have those two. Oh, sorry, I already have these two. So I'm going to grab that one. And this one. That's all I'm going to need. Now, if we go back to Discord, we're going to find something called the Universal uh, Config. And that should be in Release Builds. So it's right here. It's a Universal EFI. It's basically a standard to what you actually want. Can I open this at all? Right there. Did I already open it? I did. Down here, you're going to see that everything is all set up. And here's the config. And if we open with Xcode, please do not use Texture Editor. Text Editor is a no-no. Do not use it. We're going to go over this config real quick. That's set to no. That's good on my case. That's also set to no. Uh, what is blocked? Everything in there is fine. Patches. I don't really see any patches that are enabled. See, the point is you go and enable what you need. I think he made an error right there. It happens. Um, device properties. Layout ID. Yeah, so that's for your Intel iGPU. I don't need that. So I'm actually going to delete both. Because I don't use an iGPU. And for those people who don't understand why, you do not need an iGPU to do GPU rendering with OBS or with Final Cut Pro. The background render will use your GPU. It can also use your iGPU. But I don't like having the iGPU active at all. It's just... It's just annoying for me. Please understand that. All right, so I need to go into my actual OC folder. Is this the one we made, or is this the... Where's the one that I made? It's right here. I have to go collect some information real quick. Okay, so I'm going to open up another Xcode. I am building my config in front of you out of this one. And add... So you see this right here? We're going to add this in here. That makes my dry, my, uh, my Ethernet work. That's all it takes. I don't have any kicks for my Ethernet. All right. So out of all of that, I'm done. And let's check the kernel. Add items. Lilu, yes. Virtual SMC, yes. USB injection. Don't have it. Don't need it. I don't need that either. Yep. I need that one. No. No. And I don't need Mozzie. So what are we emulating here? I don't need any of that emulate stuff. My CPU works out of the box. And this is currently off, so I can leave that. What do we got for patches here? Okay. Never used that before. Or that. What's the last patch? Alright, we can leave all those. So I'm going to minimize this and we're going to go to view because I need to turn this up a bit. And there's no way to zoom in. Great job, Apple. So for boot, force graphics, force text. So resolution, yes. Use picker, yes. Uh, use picker needs to be on. Or else you're not going to get a boot. Disable watchdogs. For me, that needs to be a yes. Expose sensitive data. Require vault. No. Scan policy. Zero. Tools. I have a built in UEFI shell into my motherboard, so that's a no. We're going to minimize all of this. There we go. The so next is VRAM. This is where we add our boot configs and stuff. So that's UI scale. Let 
No. None of that. Um, once again, I need to travel to my, uh, my EFI. And I need to check my config here real quick. Because there is something that I do for um, NVRAM that I need. So... Oh, wow, I forgot this one's just for 10.14. Yeah, I can get rid of all of that except for Dart Zero. Done. All right, so booter config. Do we have that? No, we don't. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to dump this in here because this is for me, right? CSR config is correct. Booter config once. Why do I have two? Oh well, I'm gonna put this one in there. Uh this definitely needs to go. There we go. And I'm gonna pop in mine. And I'm gonna get rid of this one. So that's gonna be my English. So there is, that's what I use right there. Uh, Dart. I got to add one thing here. And that's Dart equals zero. All right. So legacy enabled, no. But you, able, you are able to do legacy booting now, which is great. So platform, what do we got here? What platform did he set? SM BIOS. Jesus. Okay, so this is, if you want to set an SM BIOS, this is for you. Um, I'm deleting all of that. And I'm going to go to generic. So, in generic, this is also a thing. I'm going to delete that. You don't have to do this. I know what I'm doing. Okay, and generic is supposed to be above or below platform ID. So right there. All right, so update data hub, update SM BIOS, automatic, set to yes. Good. Connect drivers, yes. The drivers that we're using, HFS plus, yes. Yes, yes, yeah, no. Get rid of that. Let's check my protocols. I'm going to just... Control policy. All right, quirks. Yep, all is good. So that's the config that I use. Uh, I did need to update my config indefinitely because I was using an outdated one. I haven't updated open core in a long time. And now that I've updated this config, we can actually go and hit save. And what I can do is I could take it from over on this side right here. Um, it was in the universal one right here, wasn't it? Place it here. Drivers. I'm going to be replacing the HFS Plus and the loader because I know that those guys are actually updated. And as for Kex, I am going to keep them as is. So this is actually going to be replacing my OC over here on my EFI because I've built it to the point where I want it. So remember, Open Core is a new bootloader that is built to be more native for the macOS environment. Uh, it gives me a speed boost, whether people want to admit that it does or not. It actually does because it runs, it just boots up the system more efficiently. I know it's weird, but it's hard to explain. Anyway, so I am going to be replacing my drive now. And. Just like that, and replace. Replace, done. There we go. I'm now all caught up 
with OC. And there we go, we're minimized. So um, all the files that I used are in the Discord below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time in another video. I will try to keep you up to date with um, open core as possible. And uh, have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video.